You no, know, it's a very important question you ask. It's important in many ways, uh, not least of all uh, with regard to science policy. There are people at high levels in government who regulate the flow of funds who think that the days of the individual investigator are past, when of course that will never happen for a simple reason that ideas happen in the minds of individuals and passion to pursue such things is also uh, an individual characteristic. Uh, the kinds of consortia and the sorts of very large-scale scientific activities that you refer to uh, are often worthwhile, uh, but they can never replace individual initiative. And I'm one of many, I think, the majority of scientists in America who are trying by every way we can to oppose that uh, contrary opinion and direction in government. Uh, and I, people talk about the value of interdisciplinary research. It's much admired everywhere. I always say that the only really significant interdisciplinary activity that happens is the mind, in the minds of individuals who learn multiple things and combine them to be creative. Uh, I mean, once it gets to the matter of, you know, you need help with a method, well, that's, of course, interdisciplinary in the sense that it involves techniques drawn from different disciplines, but that's just details. I mean, that's really, that isn't the essence. I mean, it's the ideas, it's the, the creative act that matters. And that is always the work of an individual. And that's what gives the ultimate reward, the satisfaction of the individual. And that is, again, the reason for doing science and not very many other things.